Try this. The Washington Examiner. Headline says it all. United States signed agreement with Mexico to teach immigrants to unionize. The federal government has signed agreements with three foreign countries, Mexico, Ecuador, and the Philippines, to establish outreach programs to teach immigrants their rights to engage in labor organizing when they immigrate to the United States. The agreements do not distinguish between those who entered legally or illegally. They're part of a broader effort by the National Labor Relations Board to get immigrants involved in union activism. Well, here you have crony socialism, I guess, at its finest. But this is what you get when unions buy the presidency. This is exactly what you get when union money buys the presidency. You would think it'd be just these these people are not coming here to join unions. They're coming, we're told anyway, that they are coming here to be the best they can be. They're coming here to exercise freedom and liberty, which is being denied them in their home countries. They're coming here to branch out and to blossom. And instead, the federal government says, no, 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 we can't have any of that. We're going to teach these people how to unionize. We're going to teach them how to join a union. We're going to teach them how to think like a union member does. We're going to teach them how to vote like a union member does. And we're going to get them conditioned to paying dues to the Democrat Party. That's what the federal government's doing. Mexico, Ecuador, and the Philippines.